He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Thrown back in under the ropes. Taking this outside. This could be good. Shifts it back onto him. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. He's running into some problems here, guys. He's on his heels, that's for sure. Close the lid and it's over. Can they close the casket? But the, the And they're able to fight their way out of the casket. They can't be human. That's ridiculous. Suicide! Tornado oh. DDT! That was nuts! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Oh, what a knee. The challenger is not in a great place. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Assailing the joints of the leg. Kane is losing grip on this match right now. It really looks like Kane's struggling right now. Whatever's planned here can't be good. An extremely perilous position in which to find yourself. Oh my God, even worse. All that happens now is the casket is closed and the match is over. He gets back into the ring. Caught in a bad position here. He didn't plan for this. Ooh, DDT delivered. We got Cole, it's the old Celtic war sword. Superman punch in the corner. Uh oh, uh oh, and the spear! The vultures are circling now. All he's got to do is get him in the casket and close the lid. Tossed into the casket! It's about to get very dark in there. Doing their best to try and close the casket. They did it. They survived for now. They're going to be breathing a sigh of relief. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Yeah, not looking good at all. Oh, look out. Oh, the way to the outside. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. And he slides him back to the mat. Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent and an elbow. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. Kane has to turn this around and quick. One after another. Ooh. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Sent to the outside. What are they going to do here? This is not going to be good. Barrel roll oh. to pay. That is tossing your own body around without a care taking no account for their own well-being. Placed into the corner. Oh, 
just turn that around. Uh-oh. DDT plants them. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Yeah, it looks like that fire inside Kane is only being stoked right now. Kane turns it around. Out of the ring and into the casket. The end is near. Trying to close the lid. They, they, they survive. I can't believe they actually made it out of the casket. Climbing to the top rope. He catches Kane with a ca lift off. A diving leg drop. Now is as good a time as any to capitalize and get them into the casket. Yeah, but it's not going to be easy. They are completely out right now. Trying to close the lid. Trying. This is going to be tough. It's not over yet. Not ready to put the lid on this one yet. Apparently closing that casket is easier said than done. From the apron. Good Lord, taking flight. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Wrist clutch applied. How humiliating, just kicks to the face. He must have seen that coming. Regain control with the takedown. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. Oh, and an elbow. Cinched in. Snapmare driver. Kane is losing grip on this match right now. The big red monster showing weakness here. Over the top and into the casket. This is over, this is over. Well, we've got a struggle on our hands to close. Close call for that superstar. How the hell did they survive? He climbs into the ring. Power slam. Overhand shots and elbows and Forearms, my God, what a striking display. And the assault to that area continues, sustaining the attack above the neck region. Another knee drop. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. He's got that determined look now. Oh, I heard a snap. Oh, the torque on the knee. Man, here comes. Face after that one. Oh, oh man. Kane needs to get his wits about him fast. Oof. The big red machine is now under heavy pressure. The big red monster showing weakness here. People's elbow. <laughs> Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Uh-oh, winding up. There's a Samoan spike. Ouch. Oh. Oh, man. Someone call a dentist. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. Yeah, he has really hit a brick wall here. gash on the face of Kane. Looks like the champ is going to retain. And he sends him into the corner. 
Superman punch in the corner. Uh oh, uh oh. Spear! He's got him on the brink of defeat. Put him in the casket and shut the lid. Over the top and into the casket. This is over. This is over. Trying to force the casket closed to end this thing. There's no way they're going to prevent. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion laid Cade to rest once and for all. I can't believe he defeated the Big Red Machine at his own game. What an incredible victory here tonight. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Whoa, wait, what's going on? It's Roman Reigns. Bravo, congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chip. Was that really necessary from Roman Reigns? I detected no lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion feel like a loss. What's next, boss? You got Isaac Yankum in your contacts? Oh, yes. What a huge and impressive victory. Clearly, Roman Reigns was in awe of your incredible performance. Easy to talk smack from the sidelines, isn't it? The ego on you. You've been in the show for a hot minute, got a few lucky breaks, and all of a sudden, you think you're a legend? It's not about what I think. It's about what I am. And that's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, whether you like it or not. But next week, the week after, the next PLE, Roman said it himself. You're just champion. For now. I don't care what Roman or anyone else says. You just keep setting them up, I'll keep knocking them down. And after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the Workhorse, turning back every challenge.
If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. It's the warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes. Introducing the challenger from Ayers, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 280 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Kyle Moore. Serious faces on our competitors. This big moment is not lost on them. There it is, the ultimate prize, the Universal Championship. A title worth putting it all on the line for. As the champ reaches 365 days with his title, can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Oh, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has one of the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in this brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. Placed in the corner. Big time move coming up. Uh-oh. I'm not sure I want to see what's going to happen here. Open your eyes, Byron. This is going to get good. I Don't risk. do it. Don't do it. Oh. An RKO. That's what I'd call statement offense. The champ showing us who's in control. Knee strike connects. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Drew's power currently being suppressed. The champion taking the high-risk option to retain the title. And he easily stops the ref's count. I think this match still has a ways to go. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. A oh, suicide tornado DDT. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a welt. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Ooh. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. Being carried around with ease. Just launched. Just discarded the champ like a chump.
The challenger not looking good right now. And with the falls count anywhere stipulation, you have to be extra careful as you get more and more worn down. Uh oh, we're going to see it. The most electrifying move in all of entertainment. People's elbow. <laughs> Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. And what's he looking for here? A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Steel chair to the temple. Oof. And now McIntyre is being neutralized. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponents to gain this much confidence. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? He is looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. That could be the torch that lights the fire under McIntyre. Oh, and a wicked clothesline! Good timing with that reversal. Oh, look at this! I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part... Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not! What a match. Oh my gosh, what impact. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. A uh, nice hip toss oh. right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. Snapmare driver. The champ had it. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. McIntyre turns things around. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. He shoves him onto the announce table. Looking to end this in spectacular. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to see it. F5. He might never be the same after that trip through the table. Yeah, that looked particularly terrible. I don't see any way to come back from that. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? Two count? No, stops the count at two. Obviously still has some fight left. Uh-oh. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Shoulder up, shoulder up! I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. No clue what he hopes to find down there. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. A bicycle knee strike. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. Denied with an elbow. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, what? Not that head first with the championship on the line. That's it. The champ stays the champ. 
here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Kyle Moore Hart. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, If you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we gonna keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, and what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or... I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. You know what, Miz? You're a devious SOB. And maybe that's a side of myself I need to tap into to get out of Roman's shadow. Let's do it. Yes! That is what I'm talking about! I knew you had ambition. We are going to rule the galaxy and everything beyond! If you say so. The point is, I have big plans for you. You're about to become a major crossover star. Tell me something. Do you like video games?
What's up, Dark Horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. Fair enough. Okay. So what's the opportunity? This has got everything. Exotic locale, untold riches, once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and everything is for a really important cause. Any one of those things by itself would probably be enough to say yes. Yeah. That almost sounds too good to be true. That's because it is. Most of that stuff I just made up. I was trying to spark your interest, but I am offering you a chance to help an important cause. All you have to do is come to SmackDown in Wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. You sure that's right? Usually the people are blind. Blind people and blind dogs? I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's gonna know where they're going. We better get up there fast. You in? Yeah. I'm sure whatever this cause really is, it helps someone who needs it. An extra day of travel for a good cause? Hmm. What could go wrong? Oh, lots of stuff. Flat tire? You could forget to pack your underwear? Could run out of gas? But we're taking the plane. I always remind the pilots to fill up, and I'm almost positive they sell underwear in Wisconsin. So, I think we're good. See you there. Sounds good, Truth. Man, the snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So, what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours, and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am in acting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. What are you talking about? Protocol 48? Did, did you just make that up? Yes, but as my first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing Protocol 48, which names the acting GM in charge of everything. I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out and this is the thanks I get? Charity isn't about what you get. It's about what you give. And first up, you be giving Robert Roode a title shot. And since everyone is trying to dig their way out of the snow, it's going to be a shovels match. By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? I think this will be one of the most amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the... Introducing the challenger from... That's what it's all about, the undisputed... Mother Nature may have silenced the crowd, but the roar of champions will echo in the arena as interim GM R-Truth has deemed every match tonight will be a title showdown. And we're kicking it off with a shovels match? It's really too bad we're the only ones to see this live. They should make the loser clear the sidewalk outside so we can actually get some fans in here to enjoy this. Oh, rest of them down. It's cinched in. This could be over. Oh, body is not meant to bend that way. For the love of God, submit. Fight again. Live to f Looking to free the arm and does just that. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Oh man, clocked with that shovel. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Ooh. Oh, bashing their grounded opponent with that shovel. Absolutely savage. A second gut wrench suplex. Can Rude withstand much more of this? Looks like Rude's having trouble generating any sort of defense. Power slam. Lifts him up. The spine buster. Goes into the pin. He forces a break before the count of two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. He's got the answer for that one. Rude's pushing back now. Rude's tipping the scales a bit here. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Elbow drop. Piercing. Paying it right back with a reversal. Fighting their way out the back door for the power slam. And what a reversal. Are you kidding me? He saw that one coming. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He's staring. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Rude gets fended off. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Going up, uh-oh. Throwing down punches and counters out. Headbutt derails the oncoming attack. Up top they go into the Rowdy Buster. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Superman punch! Oh, look out! And the spear! A championship level move. The cover! One, two, it's over! Got it! And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, and
Dark Horse, thanks for coming in. I was hoping you had a minute to discuss your performance review. You have a suit? I always have a suit with me every time I travel. What if the hotel has a pool? Did you forget yours? I might have an extra, or else we can always take turns. I meant the suit you're wearing. Oh, this? Once I became GM, I started reading up on some business concept. Once so while you were in the ring, I was looking to see if there was an astronaut suit laying around. I struck out on that front, but I found this baby in MVP's locker and thought maybe I should put it on so I could look more authoritative. Luckily, MVP said it didn't fit him too well, so he didn't mind if I borrowed it. What do you think? That I shouldn't have agreed to come on this trip with you. That grouchy attitude is exactly why I wanted to have this performance review. I'm looking for team players. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. This is a nightmare. That's spirit. Now make sure you keep that mentality when you get out there for your next title defense. While I was looking around for the astronaut suit, I noticed something. The aisle numbers go in order. 11, 12, 13. Also, with no people in the arena, this place is really big. So for your next match, I want you and Chad Gable to really explore the space, just like two astronauts, except there will be gravity. Uh, thanks for making that clear. No problem. As long as I'm GM, I don't want anyone out there thinking I've suspended gravity and they can't fall. You can, and in this match, those falls will count anywhere. Got it? Falls count anywhere title match against Chad Gable. All because our GM is a borrowed suit-wearing space cadet. Maybe someday. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is full. The Alpha Academy is open for business. We are about to see a clinic. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through double. Introducing the challenger from. Using an empty arena for a false count anywhere match, GM R Truth is creating an inspired slate of matches under unique circumstances. Inspired? And in R Truth? Come on, I wouldn't trust him to lead ants to a picnic. Seems like the blizzard outside is nothing compared to the storm brewing inside, backstage, and in every corner of this arena. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now. Dragon twist cutter. And into the count. One. The challenger wriggles out at one. Still no end in sight here. Run right through with the spear. And shoulders are down. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Oh, nasty fall. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. These superstars going all out in this matchup. Things are about to go from bad to worse. 
Oh my god, no, 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 not from up there, not from up there. It's an king! Oh! The champion busting out the big moves, doing whatever needs to be done. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Suicide! Tornado DDT! No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Crank in the head. Ooh! And the former Olympian Gable took a big hit there. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. Man, here it comes! Oh, man, oh, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And Gable's hopes are waning in this one. Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. Can't prepare your face for that. Is it enough? Gable quickly getting the shoulder up. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. Put it in a position now. Sit for the ride through the table. You could literally see his soul leave his body as he crashed through the table. I have no idea how he's going to manage to go on in this one. Is it enough? One, the cover! Two. Ring the bell. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and Steve! Great match out there, champ. Can you believe just a few hours ago there were people saying I wasn't suited to be a GM? Yes, people like me, and we were right. I agree. That's why I took the suit off. Turns out being a GM is pretty tedious. It's mostly just logistics, and those are my third least favorite kind of sticks. But while I was bored in my office, I was watching you out there. And I was thinking that you look pretty tired. I wonder why. Probably because of the two title matches. But there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, I figured you being dead tired might mean this is my best chance to beat a dead horse. And since I'm in charge and there's no audience, I'm taking you on in a 24-7 style match for the title. Starting right now. Well... The avalanche of attacks on the champion just keep coming. A 24-7 match for the double off into the pen. Oh, somehow. Run right through with the spear. He must have something planned as he climbs that long ladder. That's right, Truth. What's up? And he's officially got nowhere to go, but down. Get off of me. Oh, look at this. No way out of this. Not even a one count there.
We got Cole, it's the old Celtic war sword. And these areas are always off limits, guys. No one's supposed to be up there. I don't think they're reaching. No! Oh, are you no! kidding me? Bro, oh. oh my god! He saw it coming. Ollie, up and down. Russian leg sweep. Dodged right on cue. Oh, and a GDT. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Both arms trapped. This is quite a unique submission. Whoa. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Get off me. Whoa, and now our truth is showing the effects of this match on his face. Uh-oh, here it comes. Red means stop, and so does that. He's gotten on top of this ambulance. What now? Bam! Turns that back on Truth. A uh, nice hip toss oh. right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. <laughs> Launched into the ambulance. Up and down. Oh. Power bomb. Uh -oh. Not done yet. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Again? Uh -oh. Tossed into the ambulance. Carafuda driver submission. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah. Now a pin for the championship. One, two, three. And the champ stands tall.